Hello, happy Fungi Friday. My name's Ingrid, I'm an artist and illustrator and welcome to this art mini series where we explore the world of fungi by painting them. So last week we looked at a charming little fungi that is found growing on wombat dung. Um, this week we'll be moving away from dung and to look at a beautiful species called Cortinarius archeri. So I first came across this species as it was on the front cover of pretty much my favourite library book that I borrowed for this project. Um, I was immediately drawn to the beautiful purple colours and purple has been one of my favourite colours since I was a kid so I thought it was an obvious choice. It's also a mycorrhizal species, which I'll talk about a bit later on in the video. So this fungi can be found in lots of places all around Australia, often in the litter of eucalyptus forests and woodland. When the fruiting body first starts growing, the cap is a more convex shape, but as it matures, it flattens and broadens out. They are a beautiful violet color, which is quite intense to start with and then becomes increasingly browner. The gills are a lilac to pale brown with the spores being a yellowish brown. I mentioned before that it's a mycorrhizal fungi species. Now I'm going to attempt to explain what this means but keep in mind I am an artist not a scientist uh, so I'll leave some links below that might explain it just a bit more clearly than I do. So to take the definition directly from dictionary.com, mycorrhiza means a symbiotic association of the mycelium of a fungus. So remember the mycelium is that almost root-like structure under the mushroom that we don't usually see with the root of certain plants in which the hyphae form a closely woven mass around the rootlets or penetrate the cells of the plant's roots. And according to the Australian Botanic Gardens website, this association is often mutually beneficial, although it's not always the case. So often this can mean that between the two organisms, that is the plant and the fungi, there is an exchange of nutrients, which is pretty cool. So the plant receives nutrients that the fungi extracts from the soil, and the fungi can receive some of the photosynthesized carbohydrates from the plant. There are also types of mycorrhizal fungi that actually protect the plant roots from pathogenic fungi. And there are some studies to show that plants might not develop as well if their mycorrhizal partners are taken away from them. Anyway, there's a lot more we could cover with mycorrhizal fungi, but hopefully that at least piques your interest for now and make sure to check out those links below to read more. So our species today, Cortinarius archeri, is a mycorrhizal one and forms close relationships with eucalyptus trees. So for this painting, I wanted to include the environment that you might find this fungi species growing in. Cortinarius archeri has been found growing under brown stringy bark in the lofty ranges. So that's the inspiration I used for the setting of this painting. I like to incorporate elements of abstraction into my artwork sometimes and wanted to give the feeling that this fungi was all part of a larger ecosystem. Hence the composition that you can see forming here is kind of a set of concentric circles with each layer featuring a different part of this little slice of biodiversity. I don't know if that makes any sense but it made sense in my head when I was putting it all together so hopefully that comes across to you as well. So here's the finished piece featuring Cortinarius archeri, which I hope I've been saying correctly, and a brown string bark in the lofty ranges. I hope you enjoyed seeing this artwork come together and learning a bit about this species with me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next week with another fungi species. Bye!